Hey, it's Fergie with RecordingCrave.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I sure do appreciate it. Hopefully your day has been going awesome. I started working on this mix here and I needed to take two mono tracks and convert it over to one stereo track. And I thought, well, that'd be a great little video to make. So I'm going to make a video on that right now. On my drum set, when I recorded the overheads, I have the overhead on the hi-hat side right here. Then I have the overhead on the ride side right here. But what I want to do is create one stereo track out of these two mono tracks. And the reason is because when I process them, I want to put the same processing on each one. So rather than have to do it twice, I'll just do it once on a stereo track. So here's how you do that. Right click on the overhead ride, then I come to new here. And then on the new tracks, I'm going to check stereo. Make sure it's on audio track and then I'm gonna click create and it adds a stereo audio track there. I'm gonna pull my edit window over and you can see here's my overhead hat side, my overhead ride side. And then here's my audio stereo track I just created. I wanna make that a little bit bigger. So we'll make that too large. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure that this channel here and this channel here are both on wave form. And then I'm going to come up here and select this channel. Just click on it. And then I'm going to push the shift key down on my keyboard. And then I'm going to click this track. Then they'll both be selected. I can let up off the shift key at this point. And then I'm going to push the left mouse button down and drag this down to the stereo track that I created. And look, there it is, it's a stereo track now. So let's say you have a stereo track that you wanna turn into two mono tracks. You come over and make sure you have the stereo track that you want to change selected, then right click on it. Then you come down here and you'll see a little section here that says split into mono. You just click that. What that'll do is create two mono tracks of the, from that stereo track. And there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty quick tip. It works great. And that's it for today, keeping it short. Guys, have a great day. We'll see you in another video. And hey, would you please subscribe? Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.